it almost shifted my entire energy and mindset to believe I deserve to be paid accordingly, despite what people were saying in front of my face. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. If you're new here on my channel and you're just starting your event business, feel free to subscribe and make sure you click that notification because YouTube won't notify you. YouTube won't notify you when I do an upload, which is once a week. Okay, there are a lot of mistakes I made when it came to pricing my balloon garlands when I first started, which was almost four years ago today. And I wanted to share my insight, wisdoms, the mistakes I made, and what I would have done differently had I started all over again. So if you're interested in really turning your balloon garlands, and I honestly think that any event business could benefit from this information, feel free to keep watching. And if you stay until the end, I will unveil the price of what I've done for this video right here and how much I would charge today if I was to give it to a client. Okay, so let's start with the first mistake. And mind you, I'm really ashamed to say all this on camera. All right, anyways, mistake number one is I didn't take account all of my business expenses of what it took to start and run my balloon business now hear me out so when i first started i didn't have a lot of business expenses in fact i didn't take account for anything outside of the cost of the balloons when it came to my decorations i actually used to charge like 75 dollars for balloon garlands when i first started i know i know it's terrible but listen, you got to start somewhere. When I was building and running my business over time, even including this year, there were things that were part of my business that I completely forgot to take into account when it comes to my pricing for my balloon garlands. So here are some things that I definitely forgot to just think about and include in my price points in order to run my business. So some things to consider was my website i got a domain for my website right when i first started my inspiring designs it was like five dollars but it's increased to like twenty dollars now this is small but these are things that most people don't think about another thing that i t i totally forgot even including this year my storage has cost me when i first started i think it was like 99 dollars, and then over time it's now charging me 200 dollars a month other things that i didn't consider when i first started was the gas now most people will include a travel fee but but do you include a travel fee about going and coming or about going to a balloon store if you had it or going to get your props or or even just like your time to research these are things that we don't think about when it comes to pricing our balloon garlands especially this girl right here oh my goodness my calendar came off okay i thought it was on do not stir but i guess not okay another thing i forgot to consider was maintenance of my car like oil changes and tire rotations and overall tires another thing is getting better inventory if you first start out with a manual pump maybe you want to get an electric pump i'm working on actually getting uh the real expensive balloon pumps because i need i want to control the amount of air that comes and goes so i'm, I'm doing my research now do you have the cash flow in order to to invest in better inventory or replace your inventory if it gets broken we don't consider this because we're not thinking about long term we're just thinking about again pricing the balloon garland for what it is how much does it cost to get the supplies and then that's it but i'm telling y'all you need to think about these things when it comes to pricing your balloon garlands also another thing to consider are like your bank fees if you don't have direct deposit and you have a bank account that it's going to and or if you're doing like cash app or you're utilizing paypal but these are things that we don't consider and all of this stuff and more counts towards your pricing so when you're charging like me 75 dollars for maybe like a eight to seven to eight foot balloon garland it doesn't do you service because what are you doing like how are you making this possible how are you turning this into a business i told you guys that i was a little embarrassed to share but you know what we're moving forward and you're gonna move forward with me <laughs> Okay, so what would I do differently? If I had to tell Justine back in the day <laughs> when I first started, what would I tell her? Well, if you're just getting started, this is what I would tell my old self. Write everything down. <laughs> 
every single time you purchase something for your business, whether it's a domain for a website, whether it's getting a storage unit, whether it's putting new tires on your car, just write it down. Take a piece of paper, have a notebook. I'm a computer nerd, so I love spreadsheets. Now, I'm not the guru of spreadsheets, but just listing it out and having it on my Google Drive has literally saved my entire life when it comes to my business because now I see how much money is going out of my business versus coming in. And these are decisions that you want to get used to making right now before you even have the revenue, sales, and or clients in your business because when you just do what I did, a lot of money gets lost in the sauce and you don't see it in your business. In fact, if you're unable to get a bookkeeper right now, these are the things I would have done when I first got started is just create a list. I hope that helps stop making the mistake if you are and try listing things so that way you can now see where is there a good price point for your balloon garlands and or any design in your event business. Okay, the next mistake that I have made when it comes to pricing my balloon garlands some things I just definitely don't want to admit, but we're here for it. <laughs> I was focusing on clients who didn't want to pay. Now, hear me out because I know this really, technically speaking, doesn't evolve numbers when it comes to price points, but it is essential to understand the mindset of what it takes to charge your worth. So I have created so many videos on all of my social media platforms, including YouTube, and most people, even watching, even being with me for a couple of years, months, weeks, or if you're just finding this video, they still undercharged. They still question themselves when it comes to pricing their designs. I still get these questions all the time. One thing, if you don't address your mindset, which I didn't, especially when I first started, was you start to second guess your price. Maybe you get inspired by this video and you're like, oh my goodness. I'm gonna charge my worth because Justine has inspired me. <laughs> Good for you, boo-boo, keep doing your thing. What ends up actually happening is that you keep getting no's and people keep saying, you're charging too much, you're too expensive, who do you think you are? And sometimes it's our own thoughts that are literally creating chaos in our mind. And you start to second guess yourself and then you start to bring your prices lower because you need validation now, you need to be validated with your price point when in actuality you should know your worth you should know how much you're, you should charge you should feel confident with your prices i get it i even get it from my past self but the one thing that i will share that mo some people won't do is that you still push forward anyways the past self of me charging lower prices, like at $75 for an eight foot balloon garland, still took action. She didn't give up. This is why I am who I am today is because of that old self, that past Justine, made a decision to continue to push forward despite what was in front of her because she believed she knew she could do this. Right now, out of the four years of actually running an event business, I will say this, I'm no exception to the challenges that are occurring in, in my world. But when it comes to pricing your balloon garlands, this is where I don't want you to doubt your worth. I don't want you to doubt anything about your price point because it's your worth and your value. There are other things that are going to take even more confidence, but starting off at a lower price point will never serve you long term but here's what i would do instead working on your mindset is not just a one day one week one month one year process right this is an ongoing thing and the reason why i have so many books back here <laughs> it's because i absorb the right things to ensure my mindset is on the right path the reason why my old self continued to progress forward with my balloon business is because I continued to absorb so much knowledge in gaining my self-worth. Pricing and charging is a mindset shift. That's why they say wealth is a mindset 
it's a mindset. It's not that you can't, it's that you can, but you don't believe it to be true. So a great book that I recommend that I've, I've read, I have a whole list of um, books in my Amazon shop and I will link it down below this video. But the one book that stands out that really helped me with charging and pricing that actually gave me permission to charge my worth and knowing that I am worthy of higher ticket sales, I am worthy to get high end clients, I am worthy to charge my worth, was this book called Rich As F, I'm not gonna say because I don't wanna be flagged on YouTube, by Amanda Francis. Now, I encourage you to read her book. However, if you're a person who doesn't like cursing, I would say don't worry about it. But her book was beyond inspiring. It almost shifted my entire energy and mindset to believe I deserve to be paid accordingly, despite what people were saying in front of my face. All the old clients who said you're too expensive, all the old clients who ghosted me, all the old clients who said no thank you. It's a form of rejection. It, was, it, it hurt. It definitely hurt. But this book gave me permission to charge my worth. This book gave me permission to see the value of what I bring. This book gave me permission to charge as high as I want. And I want to do the same for you. So if you're inspired by her, she has her Instagram stories is literally a vibe. And she's always showcasing what you can desire and how it can come true. Her story is so immaculate. She has a bunch of YouTube videos as well that I am not sponsored by her. I'm just a huge fan because her energy is so powerful that it, it gives you permission to charge your worth and know that you are worthy. That you're already worthy before you even start to make money. You're already worthy. That was a long like, what would I do? But I get so passionate about this because this is why I create my programs like Design Your Dream Society because I want people to know that you're worth it. You've been given permission by God because you're here. So if you want to charge higher prices, let me tell you my love, do it anyways. Go ahead. You don't need anybody else to tell you you should or you can. Just know that if you have a desire to do so, that is your permission. All right, so the next mistake that I have done when it comes to pricing my balloon garlands back in the day <laughs> and what I would do differently is I didn't do a price breakdown. So this kind of ties into the first mistake that I made and really emphasizes the price breakdown. So let me tell you what I used to do. I actually used to just look at a photo and just guesstimate. I used to look at a picture and I'd be like, oh, I'll charge $75 or I'll charge $100. One, I wasn't even charging my worth. But then as I expanded on my creative skill, it still was a guesstimating price. Like there was no price breakdown. I based my prices on my feeling. Now, before I move on, listening to your body and in your intuition is a powerful thing. So I won't take it fully away from the way I moved in my business because it's what felt good. But if you're moving in fear, if you're moving in not knowing your worth, if you're moving in based on someone else's opinion, you're not listening to you and your body. If you're listening to your intuition, if you're listening to something that feels good and feels right, now you're in the right place to make a decision based on you know, that intuition. So I won't take away fully as a full mistake because I think intuition is a powerful thing. When it comes to running a business, I'm gonna show you what I would have done. So instead of just guesstimating and going based off of feeling, I wanted to do a price breakdown. And what I even noticed was that a lot of my designers would be doing the same thing. They would just guesstimate. I'd be like, oh, how, much, how much does it cost to do this? How much is your fees? Whatever, whatever, all this other stuff. And they'd be like, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? You're supposed to be breaking this down. In Design Your Dream Society, we actually go through a few lessons of not just your mindset and really taking account into getting, becoming confident with your price point, but I also go in depth on how and what you should be incorporating within your price with every single design. Price breakdown is the most important thing you can do when it comes to your balloon garlands. Cost of supplies is just one variable when it comes to the overall total and price point that you charge your clients. I will say this too. If you stick to the end, remember, I'm going to share what I would charge for this Valentine's Day balloon garland that I did um, in previous video. You'll get to a point where the price breakdown will not matter. And you'll get to a point where it's more of the value that you deliver to your clients. This is why 
high-end, high-ticket sales exists. It's not about how much each item is looking. It's more of like, this is what I am going to help you with, and this is the price point period. This is how people are able to charge hundreds, if not thousands, sometimes even millions if you, depending on what you're doing for your business. But the reason why people are able to do so is because of the value that they're delivering. It's called value-based pricing. And value-based pricing is just based on what are you worth. A few of my designers in my program have surpassed the price breakdown. It's no longer about what everything is costing you. It's more of like, what do you want to charge? How much is it worth your time as a CEO of your business? Are these clients willing to pay for your services? That's where they're at. So when they tell me their price point, it's in the hundreds, sometimes thousands, because they're at the point where they're delivering higher value to high-end clients who are willing to pay. So you will get to that point, but if you're just getting started, a price breakdown of what you charge, your expenses, and everything that goes into your price point these are things that you definitely want to consider when it comes to charging your balloon garlands. So I hope that's helpful, but let's talk about the Valentine's Day balloon garland that I would charge a client today in 2022. Okay, so I did this Valentine's Day balloon garland and I wanted to tell you how much I would charge. So if it was just a regular balloon garland, three sizes, three colors, and let's say for instance it's a 14 foot balloon garland but it's on a wall there's no double stuffing there's no specialty balloons there's no making it fuller right it's just a really nice garland like how i did in the video i would charge 550 dollars usd for that garland that garland is about 13 feet long so or 14 feet so if we divided that by $550, it's about $39 to almost a little a little under $40 per foot of balloon garlands. I know a lot of balloon stylists, a lot of balloon teachers on here on YouTube will teach you how to do per foot. And I think there's value in that because it's a great, helpful resource when it comes to charging your balloon garlands. But like I mentioned before, you'll get to a point where you're delivering more value and it's value-based pricing. It's no longer per foot, it's what's worth it right and these are the the big balloon artists that are in the industry that are paving the way for all of us because they get they are charging higher and higher and higher prices and once they're charging and they're continuing to charge higher prices it's making room for all of us to know this is what's possible. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in joining Design Your Dream Society, it's a low affordable membership to help you get started with your event business. Feel free to click the link down below. I'll make sure that it's there and in the comment section. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and be subscribed. I'm going to share how I get my balloon business into a six figure business and I'm taking you along that journey. So there's a lot of behind the scenes that I'm doing when it comes to vlogging and sharing some insights so be on the lookout for those videos other than that I hope you design your dreams into reality and I'll catch you guys in the next video Bye. so in designs dream <laughs> In Design Your Dream Society, 